Neighborhood leaders in Kansas City are standing up and fighting back. They say they're tired of being controlled by gangs and drug dealers. Earlier this evening, we showed you the progress in the Trucewood community. Tonight, Sloan Heller looks at Ivanhoe and Troost Avenue Lawn. Before heading to work at Truman Medical Center, Chris Harris has another job to do. After he's done mowing, he hits the streets. Even criminals have a sense of respect. When they seen things was cleaned up and nice, they didn't dump here as much as they used to. I mean, it's done stopped 85, 90%. Back when Harris was growing up in this home, there was sometimes we would literally have to do a maze to come down the street because people dumping couches and old ice boxes. From garbage filled streets to crime, it was infested with drug dealers. Uh, drug houses, uh, uh, a large percentage of our homicides occurred within this division. Officer Shriver has been with Central Patrol for 24 years. Uh, things were tough here. You just spoke to any residents and, and there was no hope. But in the mid-90s, Ivanhoe began its transformation. Shriver says the Neighborhood Association started tackling crime and litter. It takes the neighbor that is tired uh, of crime, the tired of the urban decay, tired of being under the control of someone else. Uh, that's no longer. It's the neighborhoods. Uh, the neighbors, the residents that control the neighborhood, and they'll tell you that. Years later, Harris started his own initiative. He tore down a few abandoned homes and created this park and his own foundation. During the summer, he runs this basketball program. Uh, the park was very vital. It gave the neighborhood youth uh, a place to go, a positive place to go, uh, instead of hanging out on the streets or the street corners. Well, this thing has really made a big impact on my life. Over the years, this park has become a selling point for at least one developer. Just 10 years ago, these homes didn't exist. Realtors say before the market crash, they went for just under $200,000 on average. Today, they run about 100 grand, but turn the corner. Another blighted area, and that's just going block by block. The average price of an old home in Ivanhoe is just $15,000. It took 40 years to get the neighborhood like that, and it's going to get 40 to 50 years to get the neighborhood fixed, and we're probably 15, 20 years in. Between 2009 and 2010, police say the number of auto thefts in Ivanhoe were up by 15, but police say aggravated assaults dropped by 26 and burglaries dipped by 7. People are very interested in what's going on in their neighborhood. Today, Harris tells other neighbors neighborhood leaders like Chris Jones to start with the simple things like picking up trash. Another crucial step, creating a brand. Luckily, Jones is an art director with advertising firm VML. Through flyers, a Facebook page, and a summer block party, he hopes to create pride, inspire people to look out for each other, and convince families not to be afraid to move to Troost. I think you have to live in the neighborhood. You can't just talk about it over coffee and Waldo and say, oh, I planted a tulip on Troost and now Troost is better. I think you have to take your wallet and spend your money and, and invest in the community on a very, very practical level. From battling negative perceptions to keeping kids off the streets, leading a neighborhood is a second job. It can start with one person, but it can't be finished alone. But in order to really bring about a change, leaders say you have to step off your front porch. Get to know your neighbors so well that you'll notice if something is wrong. Kind of like the good old days. Now for a look at what Ivanhoe and other neighborhoods in transition are doing to kind of bring their communities together this summer. Head to our website, NBCActionNews.com. In Ivanhoe, Sloan Heller, NBC Action News.